Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here, and today we are going to be making the monkey in a tree. The monkey in a tree has become one of the standards of balloon twisting. Go into any restaurant with a balloon person and you're likely to see them making this, or something very similar. A uh, very basic tree, a one balloon monkey, it's cute enough, the kids love it. Um, and some people might even fancy it up a little. They might put coconuts or bananas in the tree. Uh, maybe they'll make it into a hat so that the kid can't even see the balloon that they've been given. Um, but, you know, it's so common that it's almost cliche. So I say let's kick it up a notch and let's make a really cute monkey in a tree. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the tree and then we'll go to the overhead shot and I'll show you how to make the monkey and put it on there. Okay, so you'll notice that the tree for this monkey, because the monkey is larger, the tree trunk needs to be bigger to support that monkey. So you can do what I've done and do a spiral, or you can use a 350 or 360 for the tree trunk. Let's go ahead and do a spiral. So we'll take our brown balloon or whatever color you were using for the trunk of your tree. Inflate it almost all the way. I've got a little nub there on the end. I'm going to give this a squeeze. Now this should be pretty soft because we squeeze the air out. If you want, you can roll the knot down and squeeze it the other way. That'll make it even softer. Find the center, split it, spiral the balloon, and at the end, twist off two little bubbles like that. There's our tree trunk. For the top of the tree, we are just going to use one balloon. You can use more if you'd like to make the top of the tree a bit more full. I'm going to leave again a little bit of a tail, two fingers maybe. I'm going to burp this just a little bit and tie it off. I'm going to tie the two ends together. I'm actually going to give this a squeeze. Ugh. Okay, now I've got just a little tiny bit at the end there. Now I'm going to tie it together. Okay, this should also be pretty soft. Uh, find the thirds. This takes some practice just to kind of eyeball it. Okay, eyeball it and figure out where the thirds are. And then you can kind of fold over and see if you're right. And it looks like I need to move out just a little bit. Okay, that's about good. I'm going to take this one here with the, the end loop and I'm going to twist. For the other two I'm going to take where that's tied together and bring it in and twist. And now I should have three pieces that are three loops that are about the same size. I'm going to take those and I'm going to attach them to the two, the two bubbles at the end of the trunk. I'll wrap that around once to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to put the bubbles up on top like that. Uh, if you want, you can take that nozzle and twist it, pull it down and twist it in to kind of hide it. Um, and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to give them a little bend and squeeze, a little bend and squeeze, a little bend and squeeze. So that's our tree. Now let's go find out how to put the monkey on this. Okay, so we've got our tree that we made. Uh, and then for the monkey, you really only need a little bit of white. Uh, so I've got a partial white here. You need about a half of a blush and then two of whatever color you're going to use for the body of the monkey. I'm choosing a dark brown to contrast with the brown that I've used here on the tree trunk. We are going to start with the white. Single pump is fine. I'm going to make two about two inch bubbles. You can get them the same size. So two two-ish inch bubbles. Lock those together. Now I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm going to wrap it around there. I'm going to give it a twist as I go.
what you end up with is a couple of fat looking pinch twists. I'm going to go all the way around to the back there and then I'll break off the rest. Save that and save that bit and do another monkey or two with it. Tie that off. Those are our eyes. We'll take one of our dark brown and I'm going to leave a six-ish finger tail. I'm going to make two very small bubbles, as small as I can. Maybe not quite as small as I can, but close to as small as I can. Come on. This can be tricky. Okay, there's one. Let's see if I can make one as small as that. Okay, there I've got two. They're smaller than a finger. Maybe maybe a finger at the most. I'm going to lock those together, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the white. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to roll it through the crease, twist it, take it through the crease, so that I have two bubbles like that. Now I'm going to squeeze the air out a little bit so that I have a little bit of slack in there. And I'm going to use that to hook right there. Now if you find that that doesn't want to stay, what will often help is if you take the nozzle and also pull it to the back. Um, and that should get it to stay. If you need to, you can always take this brown and take it all the way around one time like that, and that will get it to stay. Okay, so those are the eyes. The eyes have it. Let's pull that nozzle back, that brown nozzle back. I'm going to make a pinch twist here. So that's what I have. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm going to take the blush. You could also use ivory for this or some other light color. Um, doesn't really matter how much of a tail you leave on this because we're only going to use about half of it. I'm going to make a pinch twist for the ear. About a three finger bubble for the front of the face and a pinch twist for the other ear. Now we need our other dark brown. Again, I'm going to leave about a five to six finger tail on this. Right now on the face, the blush is coming out of one ear. I'm going to attach this brown to the other ear. Now I need my eyes. These are going to go right there. So in order to get those to stay, I'm going to take the brown. I'm going to take this one across the back and attach it to the other ear. Get it nice and tight to hold that in place. Now I'm going to take it back across the top of the head and back into the other ear. I'm going to pull that a little bit tighter. So there we have. I'm going to tuck the eyes back into the head a little bit. There we go. I've got a brown coming out of one ear. I've got a brown coming right out of the center. And I've got a blush out of the other ear. I'm going to flip this over. Now right at the base of this balloon here, right there, I'm going to put a twist. I'm going to take this balloon. I'm going to squeeze the air out. 
and pull it over. You see how the air is kind of squeezed out there? Pull it over and twist it. So there, can you see that? Do the same thing with the brown coming from the other ear. Okay, squeeze the air out. Pull it over and twist it in. So all three balloons should be connected right there. I'm going to make a short body, hands with body. I'm going to twist two of the two of the browns, or the brown and the, the blush together rather. I'm going to make a pinch twist in the brown. I'm going to make sure that the blush is twisted in there really well, and then I'm going to break it off. So I've got, might even be a little bit more than half a blush left. You can use that for a second monkey. Tie that off. Okay, and now I'm going to make the arms for this wrapping around the tree. So we'll bring our tree back. You see that the arm needs to be four, maybe eight, eight fingers wide. And back the other way. Try and make the arms about the same length. Arms about the same length. Wrap around the tree and twist in at the neck. There's our monkey holding on to our tree. If you want, you can break that off right there, or you can take it down and so that he has two bubbles on his back. And that's what I'm going to do. So he has oops, that double bubble there. Okay, and now I'm going to make his legs. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You can use this one, and then you'll end up with a shorter tail. Uh, but I'm going to use this one. So uh, you can make these as simple as you want. You can just do two bubbles if you want. I'm going to do a short bubble. This is like three fingers. A small bubble, finger and a half. Another small bubble. And then bring that back. Match the two legs. And twist in at... I'm actually going to make that one a little bit shorter. Twist into the pinch twist. We're going to pop off the rest of this. And I don't really have enough to tie, so I'm just going to make sure it's wrapped in there really good. Okay. The rest of this other balloon becomes the tail. Uh, if you want to put a second pinch twist back here, you can. You don't really need to. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's give him the monkey butt. Okay, so there he's got a monkey butt. Kids always love the monkey butt. Take the rest of the tail. Curl it up. Squeeze it and massage it. Give him a curly tail. And then let's draw a little bit of a face on there. Let me grab my Sharpies. Face is very, very simple. Oh, let's turn the ears so the ears are bright. There we go. Two nostrils. One, two. And then I'm going to do a little crooked smile. Uh, and I'm actually going to do a little bit more detail than I normally do. Okay, a little thing like that. I'm going to take my pink Sharpie, or if you have red, you can use red. I should actually probably do the red before the black so it doesn't pick up the black. That's fine. Just like that. And then trace the tongue and fill in with black. And there is your super cute monkey 
on a tree. All right, I hope you like it. I hope you can get some use out of it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.